Welcome back to Carry Station. I am again here with a new mechanical part and uh, we are going to model this in SOLIDWORKS 2022. So let us start with our testing over time. I'm going to start from the new and the part. And before starting, if you are new to Carry Station, then <clears throat> don't forget to subscribe and uh, share to your friends. So here is the uh, interface of our SOLIDWORKS 2022. And we are changing the unit system to MMGS. And here I have this sketch. So I'm going to sketch first this. Uh, let's take the front plane or right plane. It's up to you. I'm going to select the front plane and sketch. Line command. Just make a random sketch like this. And close this. Now skip. And select the line and select the press control and select origin and make the relation midpoint. Now the midpoint of this line, press the control and the origin. And now select the relation vertical. Now these two vertical lines and make the relation equal. And similarly, these two taper line and the relation equal. <clears throat> Now we are going to smart dimension and our dimensions are 34, 26 plus 34. So this is 34 plus 26 plus 34 and okay. Next is uh, the height is 6 and 15. So 6. This is 15. 6 and 15 and the total is 16 mm so from this is 15 mm okay now it's uh, done and this vertical line it should be uh, driven okay now next phase we are going to extrude it extrude and we are going to extrude in the opposite direction as it's 17 mm so you have to simply mention here that's our 17 mm and enter <clears throat> now next phase i'm going to select this uh, face and sketch you can take the uh, center rectangle or the corner rectangle i'm using the center rectangle and just make a rectangle now skip like these two lines and make the relation uh, collinear now the center point and the origin this is going to be vertical now next is you can see uh, this length is 26 mm so this one is going to be of 26 mm and we are going to extrude it up to 44 mm features extrude boss base and this is going to be of 44 not the 444 on the double 4 mm and okay now you can see here is a slot card so we are going to make a slot over it let's select the slot and from the midpoint i'm making a slot a smart dimension uh the radius of this slot semicircle is 9 mm and, and the length is 24 9 by 25 this is 9 mm and this length is 25 mm now next is we are going to extrude cut and we have to cut up to only you can find here 12 mm so here you have to mention as 12 mm and okay now this uh, one is ready we have to make the top uh, part so let's for this i'm going to select the right plane and the sketch now take a light and from this point just randomly make a sketch like this from here find the vertical point and close this sketch escape now next is uh, you can find here is a radius or a demo so lit and this is going to be of 8 mm radius and ok now done smart dimension 
this is 10 mm gap and this line is 6 mm this is 6 mm between these two is 10 mm and next is the total from here to this line is 42 so from here to here is 42 mm next is uh, the height is uh, total 20 or the 10 mm and this is 10 so 10 by 10 this is 10 and this also going to be on 10 mm and this is going to be extruded up to 35 mm so let's extrude it up to features extrude boss base and this time we are again using the mid plane and this is going to be of only 35 mm and okay now this is nearly complete but we have a hole over it and there is a taper uh, cylinder so first make this hole of 20 mm dia from this face it's my dimension this is of dia 20 mm and from here to here this distance is 12.5 mm let's check this this is 12.5 mm of 20 mm dia and this is going to be uh extrude cut through on so if you uh, just make it large or you can simply select through all and okay now this one is done uh we have to make uh these for this we have radius 6 mm and radius 13 mm like the face and the sketch arc from the mid point make an arc and line let's close this it's my dimension the first is going to be of 6 mm radius and let's finish this sketch now control 7 for isometric view we are going to sketch on this uh, back surface and similarly we are going to make a semicircle and take a line and close this one now this time it's going to be all let me again check this is 13 mm radius so this is going to be of 13 mm and now finish this sketch again and control 7 for isometric view now we have the option lofted boss base uh, just select it and here you have to select the point and the point and it shows the preview if you uh, can't find this preview then you can go and turn this one show preview okay and this is done now we can change the appearance from here appearance and i'm going to select the metal and in the metal we are going for the nickel and cast nickel or that one is okay now control 7 for isometric view we are going to change its color this one and okay now I am going to change and then this one I'm going to change its color to control 7 price metric view and now we are going to change its color and this is complete so this is how we can uh, make this part uh, if you have any problem while uh, sketching it then you can ask me in the comment section and if you again if you are new to CAD station then uh, subscribe the channel and if you understand the whole tutorial then like the video and also share to your friends thank you